Hello, I'm Greg Piper, your Independent State Member for Lake Macquarie, and this is Lake Macquarie Matters. I'll be making a video in this format on a regular basis to talk about issues affecting the electorate. With this being my first, I'd like to take a look back at 2017 and also look ahead to 2018 as we gear up towards the next election early 2019. 2017 was a year of highs and lows. Locally, we saw Toronto Police Station finally open. We had a visit from a Premier, which says a lot about her regard for Lake Macquarie, I hope, as I'm not a member of the Liberal Party. We managed to save Myuna Bay Sport and Rec Centre from the government's privatisation agenda. We saw the completion of the Carey Street upgrade and received funding announcements for Bullaroo and Lake Macquarie Transport Interchange. I was pleased after having been involved in a long campaign along with the Cancer Council of New South Wales and, and other advocates, but in June last year it was announced palliative care in New South Wales will receive a huge boost with an extra $100 million for a four-year period. Now to get 24-7 home-based palliative care extended to all of the electorate of Lake Macquarie. But we also saw the government's agenda for privatisation continue with major assets sold off. Undeniably, we've seen some huge infrastructure spending coming from this, and whether you agree with this or not, it's happened, and no doubt more is planned. For example, the government is now planning to spend over $2 billion demolishing and rebuilding ANZ and Allianz stadiums. And along with many others, I question if this is reasonable when there's so many other pressing matters. This year, our community has already experienced some lows, and we've seen the introduction of the public transport changes and new timetables that have disadvantaged a lot of people, particularly in my electorate in Rank Cardiff, Cardiff South and Glendale areas. It's not all bad. We've also recently seen significant funding towards two local jetties and a boat ramp at Rathmines. Looking ahead, as the government moves into campaign mode, I anticipate there'll be a lot of activity across the state. I'll continue to work towards achieving some significant goals. Things like having a Morissette police station open 24-7 and more police in general. Improvements to Hillsborough Road and connecting roads. The ongoing issue with lead at Bullaroo establishing a workable solution for a repository as well as ongoing funding to assist that community. And why is sewer will be physically underway very soon. This will be huge for existing families and for future investment. There are so many issues and areas I'm campaigning and fighting for along with the community, and I believe we're in a strong position to do so. So it's going to be a big year, lots of hard work, but I'm looking forward to it. Just before I go, check out this great photo of a sunset over Fennel Bay from local photographer Barry Madden. If you've got a great photo from Lake Macquarie Electorate, send it in. I'd love to share it. I'm Greg Piper, and Lake Macquarie Matters.